Hello, my name is Josh. I will be your tour guide on this tour today of the NOAA ship Rainier. Welcome to the NOAA ship Rainier S221. We are a hydrographic ship doing bathymetric survey on the coast of Alaska. We are currently in transit to Kodiak, Alaska from the Shumigan Islands. The ship was originally built in 1967, was commissioned in 1968, and then recommissioned in 2004. And now I'm going to take you on a tour of the fan tail. fun playtime morale building on our way to Kodiak. As you can see, we've got a couple already. We have lots of equipment, such as the MVP. And this is my BGL, John Anderson. And here we have RA-8, which is one of our other skiffs. The Fantail is used a lot of times to play hacky sack and to meet after dinner, after hours, for just getting together. Also in the morning for early morning meetings with the crew. This is the boat deck. This is where the launches are secured in their davits. Each of the launches are equipped with multi-beam sonar. The multi-beam sonar is used to collect bathymetric data. This is the boat shop where the engineers work. We're going to go up to the holodeck next. One hand for the ship, one hand for yourself. And this is the holodeck. This is where the survey team uh, often will spill over during the day to do their work. This is one of the computer rooms on the ship. And this is the bridge wing just outside of the bridge. As you can see, we have a beautiful vista of lots of ocean. Now let's go ahead and go on into the bridge. In the bridge we have the chart table which is used for keeping the charts and keeping track of our progress along whatever line we have charted. This is the throttle for the ship. This controls us going forward and backwards. This has the seat temperature. This is for the bow thruster being able to turn this bow either direction. This is showing what the driver sees as the helmsman is driving the ship when we're driving lines. We have the helm right there. We have in hand going in auto. As you can see, we are currently at a eight designation. Let's see, we have our fathometer, which is currently 26 fathoms of water underneath us. This is a multi million dollar fish finder. We have all of the radio and communications here on the bridge. This is the communication center of the ship. This is where if the ship is in distress, we make outgoing calls. And we have the cameras to be able to see different parts of the ship from the bridge without having to go outside and still being able to maintain what we're doing on the bridge. And here we have radar. As you can see, we have ships out here. That's pretty much everything on the bridge. This is the plot room. This is where the survey team processes multi-beam data. This area over here is dedicated to ship's hydro, which is used to control the ship's multi-beam sonar. So now we are leaving the plot room and heading down since it's really close down to the captain's cabin. We did ask permission first. And in here, we have the front 
room, which is sort of his office workspace, and then back here. Back here we have the captain's stateroom, which as an immaculate example to us all, he is kept beautifully clean and wonderfully organized. And that concludes Captain's Cabin. And the next step on our tour will be the living quarters. Follow me. For those of us who are tall, watch your head. And down here we have a fire station with a fire hose in case of a fire emergency. We'll be introducing you to the bathrooms, also known as heads on the ship. Here's one head. Here's one shower. And here is one head slash shower combo. And I will be introducing you to the space now. Go ahead and come on in. It's not a whole lot of room. So this is where you would shower, do, do, do your thing. And then we have the uh, water saving feature of the sinks that uh, anytime you need the water, it's ready to go. As long as you get in front of it and then, uh, yeah, so this is our bathroom. Our next stop is the four man stateroom. As you can see, we have lots of little space. The, the uh, four-man stateroom is usually occupied by no more than three people, but occasionally we have to go to more than that. Uh, we have lots of safety features that are on the ship, such as the Osiko EEBD, which is used for escaping during a fire. We have behind us a survival suit. Everyone is issued a survival suit upon arriving on the ship. We also have our safety vests, which are up here and up here. The staterooms themselves are a little bit on the small side, but as you can tell, you really get to know your people. We have the tall lockers where you're able to get all of your stuff in. You have a drawer provided down below, and then you also have drawers down on the bottom of your bunks. The different staterooms that we have, we have a four-man staterooms, which are what most of the crew occupies. We have two-man staterooms, and then we have singles that are occupied mainly by the officers and the chiefs. And that's how you get to know your bunk mates really well. And our next stop is to the cruise base. Here we have a nice big TV which occasionally displays maps or TV. We have trash bins, recycle, condiments, people hanging out, having lunch. Or drink time. We've got silverware, refrigerator, ice. Nice big, another big TV. And then here we have the galley, which is where we get our food. And next, here we have the officers' mess. The officer's mess is actually the exo space because the captain's space is the bridge. So the exo the ship, the second in command, has the officer's space and he will sit at the head of the table. And here we have the ward room. You can see we have people hanging out. And this is our hangout space slash watching TV, playing games. And we also have the survey meetings here for after the ship's hydro is done for the day. And here, one of the nice amenities we have on the ship is laundry, which can only be done 700 to 2200 weekdays and 1000 to 2200 on weekends. The ship is rolling right now. This, over there we have three washers, and here on the left we have three dryers. The soap is kept down there along with spare laundry baskets. And Sometimes there's a scramble to do laundry, but it's nice having it on the ship. And this is the O-Lab, also known as the Ocean Lab. 
In here we have a lot of the equipment for diving gear. We have the air tanks over here on our left. We have all of the dive suits and diving gear on the right hand side and occasionally use this place for meetings. And this is C10. This is where we keep our exercise equipment, among other things. Let's go take a look. Watch your head. We are very fortunate to have just recently upgraded our workout capabilities to the Audio Master. This is where you can bump yourself up and get as big as some of the people we have on the crew. No, seriously, we have some pretty fit people on this crew. The bicycle bike, we have the treadmill, we have the stairmaster, and we have lots and lots of dumbbells and weights as you can see. And next we have aft steering. It's gonna get a little bit loud. A lot of our spare equipment, uh, we have pipes and metal bars over there. We have all of the ropes that we use uh, on the aft part of the ship or when we're docking the ship. These are all the mooring lines that we use. And that right there is the hydraulically controlled rudder post. So this is the right, right rudder post and left rudder post respectively. Here at the end of our tour, this is the flying bridge. This is where lookout stand, lookout underway to look out for navigational hazards to the ship. Over here we have kayaks, which are also used to be stored up here on the flying bridge, and also bicycles, which are used for putting around while we're inshore. It's also a great place to look out for sunrises, sunsets, whale watching, and occasional aurora borealis. Thank you for joining me on this Noah Ship Rainier S221 voyage, the first of many 